Hey everyone, today we are going to discuss polycystic kidney disease. What is polycystic kidney disease? How does it affect? What age it affects? What are the genetics behind uh, and what is the mode of transmission of autosomal uh, dominant or autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease? So and how you will manage the patient. So this is very important clinically as well as uh, for your exam point of view, autos this uh, polycystic kidney disease is extremely important. So make sure to capture all the points and also you are most welcome to comment, like, share and subscribe as well. So let's uh, go and uh, capture the key points of polycystic kidney disease. Polycystic kidney disease is either uh, seen in adults that is called as adult polycystic kidney disease which is of autosomal dominant type and autosomal recessive type of polycystic kidney disease also have occurs which is more rarer and generally occurs in children or even in utero. So here autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease which is more commoner and here uh, the patient uh, will have generally typical manifestation in 4th to 5th decade of life and here what are the genetic mutations what are the genetic mutations very important uh, thing to note there is uh, polycystic uh, gene 1 polycystic uh, gene 2 or uh, these are the most important ones gen genetic abnormalities which are which are located in uh, chromosome 16 and chromosome 4 respectively so here uh, there is basically because of this genetic mutation there is abnormality in the calcium flux and also there is abnormal function of cilia so that leads to uh, basically abnormal growth of the epithelium abnormal differentiation of the epithelium cyst formation fluid retention sometimes the fluid can become turbid as well so here the cyst that are that is seen is uh, generally bilateral and of variable size multiple cysts are seen larger cysts are seen and uh, the patient not only presents with cyst of uh, kidney but may have multiple other cysts of the other organs as well like liver spleen and uh, liver spleen and even cns and even cns you may see some kind of a berry aneurysm formation which can lead to subarachnoid hemorrhage so these are the common complications and apart from that some other complications like mitral valve prolapse uh, syndrome and even a colonic diverticulosis all these uh, can happen in patients of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease and it can present uh, eventually with end stage kidney disease so here uh, there is a gradual loss of function that is seen now coming to autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease which is rare it is a recessive mode of inheritance so here uh, the it may happen in uh, infants childhood or even in utero and the patient may present and in, in, if it occurs in the utero it may present with oligohydrominous and Porter sequence with multiple lung and uh, cranial abnormalities. So autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease. Here, uh, what will happen? Uh, here, uh, the patient uh, will have uh, multiple cysts of both the kidneys, generally of the same size. So generally of the same size, much smaller cyst. And here you will not get the abnormalities, the other abnormalities which we get in case of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease here the patient may have a more of hepatic fibrosis congenital hepatic fibrosis the child may have and the cysts are also arranged radially uh, and right angles uh, to that of the cortex so uh, multiple small cysts are being seen over here in case of this autosomal recessive uh, kidney disease and here uh, there is a fibrocysteine gene abnormality that is uh, generally uh, seen over here in poly in the, this autosomal recessive kidney disease now how to manage uh, the patients of autosomal uh, kidney disease or uh, this autosomal dominant autosomal recessive kidney disease management by management of hypertension and uh, the management of end stage kidney disease with pro providing some su support is so providing supportive treatment is needed so thank you uh, for uh, your kind attention Hope you like hope you like the video please like share and subscribe and see you in another video very soon thank you